because today you're not just cooking for Greg and I, but you're also cooking for three renowned restaurant critics. Jay Rayner, Grace Dent, and Jimmy Famarewa. Those three critics will help Greg and I decide who stays and who goes. One hour and 10 minutes, one course, your own food. We have really high expectations. Let's cook. You happy with venison? Absolutely thrilled with the venison. What's quite striking is that this reads more like the sort of thing I see on menus in restaurants at the moment than any of the others. Venison is tricky. You don't want it to be tough. You want it nicely seared on the outside with a kind of nice pink middle. Onion ash, that is very ambitious. Will that be good? Very nice, Greg, very nice. That is a beautiful dish. Well done, Greg, very Thanks, nice. Guys. Greg, Thank that you. is beautiful. Thank Better you very taste much. good. Good afternoon, everybody. Hi. How, How are, are we? We're good. good. So I've cooked for you today a venison tenderloin, mushroom puree, carrot and cabbage as well, an onion ash, and then to accompany it is a game sauce. So I really hope you enjoy. Thank you ever okay. so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, Greg. Cheers. Gosh, I wasn't expecting to see anything like this today. This is uh, the type of dish put together by people that are on professional MasterChef. I'm very impressed already. Yeah. It's really, really good. Mm. The, the cooking of the meat is perfect. That game jus works. I mean, it's all lovely and very, very precise and actually quite a few notches above anything I've ever had on uh, Celebrity MasterChef. I think that there are just beautiful bits to it. The mushroom puree especially. Creamy and it's silky. And that lifts the entire plate. The onion ash, it adds a smokiness to it and it kind of grounds the dish. Really, really impressive. Uh, Greg is a seriously uh, talented cook. Venison's cooked beautifully. I love that charred onion dust. I think that's really, really good. John, that looks like I've just sat down to a fine dining lunch. I tried blimmin' hard. <laughs> I really gave it my all today. That was as good as I could have hoped for. I'm thrilled to bits with, with what I created. The fondant needs to be soft, but the thing that has to happen is it has to ooze, surely. Are they risen? Um, checking now. Yep, yeah, they're just getting there. Look like you did them before? No, no, I don't want him to look like I did them before. All right, okay. <laughs> Getting the cooking time right is hard for one reason, one reason only, because you cannot see what is going on. You can only base it on experience. How are we looking, Jillian? Mm, not just yet. Go on, then, shut the door, then. You've got three minutes left. I'm also quite interested about the caramelised banana. If it has that deep caramel depth of flavour, then great. Right, you ready to go, Jillian? Yep. Good, let's do it. That's it, that's it, come on! Oh, nuts. Oh. Hello. 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 Hi. Hi. Thank you. Chocolate fondant with banana, lime zest, and a vanilla cream. Wow. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers. <laughs> Oh. 
delicious. It's just lovely, soft, melting chocolate pudding that is both rich and remarkable and oozing. I love the banana. The caramelised banana is that brilliant thing because it's got real acidity. I think this is delightful. Absolutely delightful. The cream sort of brings it all together really nicely as well. It's kind of really nicely whipped and light. Lots of vanilla in there. It's been a good day at the office. Yeah. 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 I love the flavour of the fondant. It's like cocoa-rich chocolate. It's lovely. And the sweetness of the inside I like. That with vanilla cream I think is lovely. Hopefully I've done enough. You can never take these things for granted in competition. You never know, you know, what guys look for, what's what, you know, so let's see.